applications till now we have seen a number of circuits let's go for another kind of circuit that is what called as synchronizing circuit now let us discuss about what is synchronizing circuit synchronizing circuit are used where the motion of two or more cylinder required to be simultaneous in the sequence control we have seen that after operating first cylinder the second cylinder was operating in the synchronizing circuit i want at a time at a time both should be moving and that can be achieved by synchronizing circuit in the synchronizing circuit there are two type synchronizing with mechanical coupling and synchronizing with flow dividing wall these are the two type which is present in the synchronizing circuit first of all let us see the synchronizing with mechanical coupling so here we are going to use a mechanical coupling in this case so this is mechanical coupling which we have provided here on the downside direction you have to assume that the various component of the hydraulic circuit like pump then uh, filter then pressure relief wall pressure gauge all the kind of wall are present on the downside direction after that the this particular comes to the direction control wall in the direction control wall is present over here this direction control wall is 4 by 3 direction control wall four ports and three positions the current central position is a stop position so where it's not working and these two are forward and backward position here let's consider piston cylinder are in number 1 piston cylinder are in number 2 these two cylinder piston are in pistons are connected with each other by using this is coupling so this is what a coupling which we have seen over here and then togetherly these two piston cylinder are in moves this particular coupling on upward side direction here the port a is connected to the head end of the this particular cylinder and head end of the second cylinder also then port b is connected to rod end of the cylinder both cylinders so if i give name for this cylinder number 1 and this is cylinder number 2 so here the cylinder piston arrangement is connected to common ports so a port is connected to head side whereas b port is connected to rod side and both the rod are connected to one common coupling now here the arrangement is made that because of this coupling the at a time both cylinder will be operating otherwise it will not be operating so let us see how it operate let's consider that this particular position come into the action when this position come into the action for that purpose we have to move towards the right side as it move towards the right side the port a is now connected to the head side so this is the head side and both side it will move now if the fluid is entering into this one this particular position it gives a force on the piston the piston starts moving in upward side direction and fluid will enter here and also piston starts moving in upward side in direction now let's consider that a load on this is more so if load on this particular part is more then the pressure generated here is more the pressure generated here is more that bypass pressure will come into the here so they will balance with each other the both pressure will be balanced with each other because we are knowing that fluid will be following least resistance path wherever pressure is less there it will enter after into entering into this one at a time both piston uh, piston will be moving in upward side direction and as both are moving in at a time this is what called as synchronizing with mechanical coupling so here it will not happen that one piston is moving up and another piston piston is remaining on a downside direction that is because of a purely mechanical coupling which we are using here while coming on downside direction for downside direction i had to keep this position into the action the pump is connected to rod end and reservoir is connected to this piston head then when the rod end is filled with the fuel here so here fuel will fill here the fluid will be filled and the head side it will be moving on downside direction so it will go to the reservoir so here the two pistons are moving synchronized with each other and that's what's called as synchronizing type of the circuit diagram thank you very much for listening